How's it going guys? Uh, my name is Michelle and this is the second tutorial for my YouTube channel Django for Noobs. Today we are going to learn uh, how to do a uh, world-class authentication system using Django 1.8. So I've already written the code for this project and uh, I'm, I'm going to explain to you what we have over here and the reason I'm not uh, typing the code uh, as we proceed is because um, it's gonna take a lot of time I tried it once and it takes like like 20 minutes and there's no there's no use I'm gonna I'm going to obviously give you the source code so uh, so let's start so over here we have a project called login so this is the project directory over here settings URL still with your file and we have an application called index so for this project let's head over to settings.py we have added the index application and we have added this line over here we have added a login URL variable which contains a URL for the login view right so that's uh, all we have to do uh, in the settings.py file let's close this in the urls.py of the project uh, we have obviously created a URL to redirect every other URL to the index applications URL conf um, so that's about it so let's not worry about this directory anymore head over to the urls.py file of the application we're working with four views login logout uh, the home and blog view alright so in the login view you see that there's a bunch of code that's basically the most complicated part of this tutorial um, let's look at the logout view it's pretty simple you import logout from Django country and use uh, and use the request to log out of any currently logged in session and uh, we are redirecting the users to the login URL after you log out just like any other website would behave um, we have the home and blog view over here you can see that I've used the render uh, render uh, function I guess I don't know, I'm not familiar with the terminologies uh, to call on two uh, templates home.html and blog.html uh, we're gonna go uh, inside those uh, in a couple of minutes let's talk a bit about the login view so forget about this line so what we're doing over here is let's just uh, forget about all this what we're doing in the login view is that just like home and blog we are calling a template that is login.html over here all right and um, we are passing a variable to it all right into the into that template and we're going to see in a minute how we're using this variable so let's bring back this code um, you see that if the request method is post that is if you click login you use the post variables of username and password and use those variables and put it in the authenticate method and create a user um, variable so this 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 is an uh, this represents the currently logged in user and then we check whether this user uh, is present in our user base or not so if user is not none if it's not present we go to the else clause and we return or we redirect the user to the login URL right and if the user is present we see whether the user is active or not if you have ever been to a Django admin panel you'll see that um, uh, in the user model you'll see that the, there's a tick button there's a tick mark checkbox button that uh, shows whether the user is active or not. If the user is not active, you cannot log in, right? So if the user is active, you use the login method to log in the user and redirect it somewhere. All right, we'll talk about it later. And if the user is not active, you deliver a HTTP response. Actually, it's going to be return over here. Sorry, I missed that. You deliver a response that uh, that says inactive user. <coughs> All right, so let's come back to this variable next um, so if the user can log in if the user is active right 
so the user logs in and you redirect the user to next variable now what is the next variable next variable is basically uh, a get variable gets the variable from the URL if the variable is present right so it gets the variable if it's not this home URL is the value for the next variable so if the next uh, get variable is not present the user gets redirected or user lands uh, in home after logging right and if there is a next variable in the URL that is assigned to this uh, that is assigned over here and uh, there's too much next <laughs> that is assigned over here and then the user goes back uh, to that page right so um, I've used a login required decorator on the home view so that you cannot access this view directly you have to log in but in the blog view you can access it and you can read the blogs but if you want to maybe let's say m make a comment on the blog you're gonna have to log in so that uh, can be you know blocked off that can be only available for authenticated users and over there you can use this code for the login right so let's take a look at the blog uh, blog template it's gonna make things a bit clear so over here we have uh, this is the login this is the login uh, link right the login link says slash login slash from the URL right it's a login URL but then it provides a next get variable which equals to request a path which is the current URL right well and the current URL is obviously of the block so if there is a next variable which is which there is over here you go to the login view and then you say that yeah we have a next variable you know and this next variable is the request of path which is whatever like slash blog over here and so this next gets a value of slash blog and after the user logs in it is redirected to the blog view I don't know if it makes any sense uh, but I've tried to you know type the whole project and explain to you line by line but uh, it takes a uh, takes too much time so I hope this is clear. Uh, I'm gonna run this project once and uh, show how it, show you how it works. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a very good video editing skills, so this is the best I can do. So I already have a super user is admin. If I log in, like I said, the login the login uh, the login URL does not have any next does not have any next equals to something to test alright right there's no get variable right so it just lands in home it's because the view searches for a next variable if it doesn't get a next variable it assigns the home URL to this right that's why you land on home now you can go to blog you can go to home and then maybe you log out right you try to go to home directly it doesn't go there it redirects you to login with a next variable of home because it knows that you're trying to get to home but you need to log in and then if you log in you go to home but if you try to go to that's a blog what the fuck did I just write? blog right you can visit blog and I I have over here a bit of if statement going on so if the user is authenticated it shows you a logout link if it's not it shows you a login link right so right now you're not authenticated so it shows you a login link if you click on login it goes to login with the next variable of request of path which is blog see the request of path of this page is the value after the IP address so go to login shows request of path of blog as a next variable so if you log in you don't land in home you land in next right and you see that you're not authenticated so it doesn't show you login it shows you the logout link so um, that's about it guys uh, I hope I can make this clear to you with this tutorial because uh, I've had a lot of hard time trying to figure this thing out um, if you'd like to ask some questions you can do it on the comment section like and share this video um, if it has helped you in any way uh, and thanks for watching. 
Oh, and uh, in the description of the video, I'm gonna post the GitHub repository for this project. So, yeah. Have a nice day, guys. Thanks.